back to educator.com. This is the life science course and today's lesson will be on reptiles. Our objectives for today's lesson will be what are the common characteristics that all reptiles share? Number two, how are reptiles different from each other? And then number three, what adaptations have helped reptiles to live on land? So let's first discuss the common characteristics of reptiles. All reptiles are land-dwelling animals and they're vertebrates, so they have a backbone. They have a very thick, dry, scaly, waterproof skin, which helps them to live on land. Um, and that skin uh, prevents water loss or helps to reduce water loss. And it also protects them from their predators and from different climate change. All reptiles are cold-blooded or ectotherms, which means they cannot maintain their own body temperature. Their body temperature is based upon the environment. So if it's cold in their environment, then the reptile is cold. If it's hot, the reptile is hot. Luckily, uh, reptiles are able to move, so if it is hot, then they'll probably find some shade. And if it's cold, they'll probably come out in the sun or find sun to sit under or bask in the sun. Uh, reptiles breathe with lungs, so they are, have a more um, complex respiratory system than, say, fish or um, other vertebrates. Uh, they also lay what we call amniotic eggs. Now this is different from the amphibians that we discussed earlier. These reptiles lay specific amniotic eggs which help that reptile to uh, live on land from the, very, from the stage of a fertilized egg. From the very first time that they are fertilized, um, they're able to live on land. They do not have to live in water as say uh, the amphibian eggs do. These am Amniotic eggs have a leathery shell, which also is used for protection. And the amniotic egg is very developed in that it contains membranes inside that protect the embryo or developing reptile and also uh, includes the nourishment that the egg needs in, to develop into um, the reptile. Uh, before that egg hatches. So the amniotic egg actually is like an egg. It has the embryo inside developing and attached to that embryo you have what we call a yolk. Similar to the eggs that you would get in the supermarket. They have the yellow yolk inside. And then on the outside, you would have what we would consider uh, what we would call uh, amniotic fluid. And that's where the name amniotic egg comes from because this amniotic fluid is, again, there to cushion, protect the embryo. And that yolk is there to. Uh, nourish the embryo as it develops. Um, this amniotic egg, again, enables the reptile to lay its eggs on land and not in water. And some very common reptiles that we'll discuss today will be turtles, snakes, crocodiles, alligators, lizards, and more. Let's first talk about lizards and snakes. Lizards and snakes are the largest group of reptiles. They're the most common and um, they are very different from other reptiles because they have what we call an unhinged jaw. They're able to extend their jaw uh, out of their, their, their bodies and make it um, actually be able to um, swallow their prey hole. They're able to engulf their prey so that that hinge, that unhinged jaw is able to uh, surround the prey so that it can swallow it whole. This increases the mouth size of the lizard and snake. Now let's talk about some differences between lizards and snakes. First let's talk about lizards. Lizards have a movable eyelid to help them see better. Uh, they have external ears. Here's a picture of a lizard here. 
and here would be the ears and the eyelids here. And lizards also have legs on the sides of their body. And they also uh, have clawed toes uh, on their feet. Um, lizards like to eat plants and other reptiles. They like to eat insects, spiders, worms, and even small mammals. Now, snakes are different in that snakes do not have legs. That's the main difference between a lizard and a snake. Uh, snakes, such as this snake or this snake, um, they don't have really developed or good hearing structures, and they don't really have great eyesight. But they are very good predators, and that's because they use the vibrations in the ground to find their prey. They uh, basically pick up the vibrations in their jawbone, which sends a message to their brain and tells them what type of prey is around in their area. Now, snakes um, are, str are strictly uh, meat eaters in general, and they uh, don't necessarily feed on plants and again they are able to swallow their prey whole um, but they also have adapted other ways in order to capture prey some snakes actually have a venom or a toxin that they release to immobilize their prey which just means that the prey can no longer move once it's been uh, bitten with the the venom And then some snakes can actually wrap their bodies around their prey. So much so that the, the snake's body starts to constrict or tighten, meaning the muscles within the snake's body are tightening up and it causes the prey to actually suffocate. They're no longer able to get oxygen and that's another way that the snake uh, attacks its prey. Uh, in general, snakes feed on very small mammals and rodents such as mice and uh, rats, things like that. Here's actually a snake that's eating a small lizard. So yes, snakes eat lizards even though they're related to each other. <laughs>